This is how every iPhone home screen on the planet looks. Boring, cluttered and regular looking. Let's upgrade to a sleek, customized and minimalist iPhone home screen within minutes. I'll show you step-by-step -step instruction to customize your home screen that has custom app icons with transparent background, an invisible home screen dock, removing all distracting elements and an overall polished setup. The best part, it's all DIY and you can do it for free. Hi, my name is Anjana and let's get started. Okay, as my theme for this setup is minimalistic, let me first get rid of the search button at the bottom of the screen. I don't use it at all and might as well remove it. To do this, I will go to settings, home screen and app library. And in here, I will disable show on home screen under search section. Now the search button is gone, but it still has these three dots to denote my other home screen pages. Currently, I have multiple home screen pages. What I'm going to do is long press on the screen and then tap on this icon here. This will show all my app pages. I'm going to deselect all and just keep only one page here. Now, when I tap done, even those dots are gone and my minimalistic home screen is coming together. Now, how do I find my apps when I don't have them on my home screen? What I do is, I'll bring some essential apps alone into this one page of home screen I have that I use every day. I can also have a folder which can hold other most used apps. For the remaining apps, I usually swipe down on the screen to bring up spotlight search and then type a few letters and the app shows up there to open it. This is usually faster than scrolling through pages and finding the app I need. Okay, the next step is to change the home screen wallpaper and remove the dock. Now, Apple doesn't provide a setting to just remove this dock at the bottom. So we are going to get creative here. We are just going to set a wallpaper in the same color as this dock, which will make it look invisible. To do this on the lock screen, let me long press to bring up the lock screen customized window. I will swipe and tap on the plus icon to add a new wallpaper. Here I will scroll and choose color. Instead of picking an existing one, let me tap here to pick my own color. Here under slider tab, I will enter my own color value in hex code and that is F3, F3, F3 in light mode. This is the same color as the dock in light mode. I'll then close these windows. Here's an important part. It's currently under bright mode. I will swipe to select solid mode. I'll tap on add. I'll also tap on customize home screen and make sure blur is not enabled. That's it. I'll tap on done. Now, as you can see, the bottom dock is gone. Neat, right? If you're using dark mode, then the hex color code you need to set it up to make the dock invisible is 24, 24, 24. One pro tip here, some people may still see the dock even after setting these values correctly. To fix that, go to settings, under accessibility, now select display and text size. Make sure the reduce transparency setting is toggled off. Are you starting to see a difference? How can I simplify this even more? I also don't like the text at the bottom of the app icons. Let's remove that. To do this, I will long press on the home screen. Once it's wiggling, I will tap on edit and then on customize. Here I'll tap on large to make the icons larger, but also it removes the app names much better. Now let's get to the exciting part. Let's customize our app icons. We first need to get our app icons, right? For this, there is an easy way and a better way. The easy way is just to download the app icon pack off of the internet. They can be free or paid depending on the icons you choose. These are just images that will replace the icons. But let me tell you what I do. I create my own icons. Think about it. All you need is just a square image of your app icon. You can create them in MS Paint, Photoshop, Canva, or even ask ChatGPT to create one for you. The one I use is Canva. Let me show you how I do. And since I have only one home screen page with a few apps on it, it gets even easier to create these. I'll go to Canva website. Here I'll choose custom size. I'll give 500 pixels by 500 pixels. You may have to customize this based on your phone screen resolution, but start with 500 by 500 and make sure it's in square aspect ratio, meaning the width is 500 pixels. The height also needs to be 500 pixels. 
I'll create one for calendar app. From here, it's up to you and your imagination. You can design using the elements and graphics in a way that you want it to be. I'm going to go for a monochromatic, simplistic theme. So I'll just use a simple calendar icon. Here's the pro tip. Choose the background and change the color. Customize the color and enter the same color as your home screen wallpaper color. In my case, for light mode, it's F3, F3, F3. This will create a transparent looking app icon as well. Go ahead and download it. As I said, I did it in Canva, but you can use any other app or website to create a square icon. I've created similar themed icons for my other home screen apps as well. Now you can airdrop or download it to your iPhone files. Now, you will have to replace these new icons with the original icons, right? How do you do it? Well, we are going to create a shortcut to the app and then set the icon we just created as the icon for that shortcut. How do I do that? Using the iPhone Shortcuts app. I've created multiple videos on the Shortcuts app. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But to create a shortcut, open the Shortcuts app, tap on the plus icon at the top right, under search action, search for open app. Now tap app section and select the app you want to open when you tap on the shortcut app. For me, it's the calendar app. So I'll search for the calendar app and tap on it. Now tap on this arrow and rename it to something familiar calendar. Now the important part is open the menu again and now choose add to home screen here select the image and under the option select choose file here choose the calendar icon you just created and now tap on add now if you go back to the home screen you can see your own custom app icon which will open calendar app when you tap on it if you want you can even bring this to your dock at the bottom which is now invisible now, the only thing remaining would be to go back to the shortcuts app and create more shortcuts for each of the apps that we want on our home screen. Once we do it all, here's my brand new, fully customized, sleek and minimalistic home screen. How do you like it? If I don't like any icon, all I have to do is go back to Canva or other software, update my icon and then replace the home screen shortcut with the new icon. I can even draw something using Photoshop or Microsoft Paint to create the most unique icon packs for myself. I use my Apple Pencil and iPad to create my own custom icons too. If you have downloaded a new app which you want it on the home screen, create another icon create a shortcut and export it to the home screen. Board of the icons look, redesign every few weeks or months or by season, match the vibe. It's unlimited customization. All right. I hope this video was useful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also share it with your friends and family who needs a new home screen design. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.